Hello there. So I've been asked, uh, how do you set up Fusion, uh, the Mac emulator, on the Amiga? So what I'll do here is um, I shall quickly -ish go through the settings of my particular installation and upload the files onto my website that I use. So you can, if you wish, just download my files and use them on your Amiga. So first off, this is, I'll close this down, obviously this is the uh, Fusion running now. So I'll close that down. Okay, so Fusion. What I'll do is I'll zip up a folder that will give you, when it's unpacked obviously onto the Amiga, this folder. And inside of Fusion we have a few files, but all you're interested in is Launch Fusion, but there are a couple of other things. Now either hard files or MSHF, which are hard files also, will contain uh, your working uh, Mac OS 7.3, 7.5, whatever it is they use. Um, a copy of that running. My boot drive is hard file O and I will zip this up and put it on my website so you can copy it and pop it into either there or there. The next thing is ROM images. Now these are probably still copyright of Apple so I can't possibly put them anymore on my website so if you look on my website you won't find them if you look under ROM images. And that's pretty much all you need to know uh, about all this. Apart from one other thing maybe, and that is Workbench Assign. If you run Fusion, it will say, please insert Fusion, I think it says, into any drive. Because it's expecting to run from either a floppy disk or a partition called Fusion or whatever. So I'll also pop work, uh, Workbench Assign on my website as well. And what you do is, if it says, if Fusion says, please insert Fusion, all you do is you pop it into there and let go, and it'll put a little plus on Fusion, and you say save. And that means that a sign then is set so that if anything asks, i.e. Fusion, where Fusion is, the Amiga automatically knows it's, it, it's in, this, um, uh, in this directory. So, for example, I'll tell you what, I'll reboot it, and then you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, this is um, the Vampire 2, obviously, and it's running uh, Silver 7, Core 7. You will need to alter the workbench startup slightly. But I'll quickly cover that before the battery runs out on my camera. Oh, just dropped the mouse. So anyway, if I launch Fusion, as though I just, as though I just dropped it into Workbench. If I launch Fusion, it will say, "Please insert volume Fusion," because it's looking for that volume. Now, if you use Workbench Assign, assign you can type it into CLI if you wish, but I can't bother. I'm too lazy. So use those parameters. Retry, and it will work. So then, let's start from the beginning. Memory. How much memory? the Fusion emulator will use. I have mine set on or around 100 megabyte. For no other reason than I can. That's leaving Workbench 15 megabyte in which to operate. Memory options are, it's normal. I haven't kickstarted the, uh, uh, kick I haven't remapped the kickstart. So they're my settings. Now video. The, the Vampire uses Picasso 96 modes. So, the available vi uh, drivers for this are obviously going to be Picasso 96. You can use the Amiga Workbench, uh, Low Res PAL, NTSC, various other things. I did have issues originally using this emulator where I could not, or it would not allow me to open that mode. What I ended up doing was reinstall Picasso 96. That kind of worked, but not really. 
I ended up downloading the classic workbench with Picasso 96 or the Picasso 96 version if you will and that worked. Filter options. Yeah. So yeah, Picasso 96 XL. Floppies, I've left that alone. The hard files that which you use. You can add them by clicking on them. If you wish to remove them, press the shift key on the keyboard. The other shift key, the left one, and it'll go away. So I want mine to boot from our file O. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Slash your devices. Oh, and there's CF card. Port standard ROM. If you're using a Quadra ROM, which I won't include on my website, 100 ROMs. Sound Amiga. If you put it on AHI, it crashes the emulator for some reason. Don't know why. Peripherals. I've not set up the CD. I might at some point. Might not. Who cares? And you can save the settings there. Save settings, yes. And then you press start. So I'll press start. And, and away we go. Now it may start in black and white the first time you run this. It's not a problem. Go to man uh, monitors and set it to um, colour. It'll say colour 256, I would imagine. Now this is uh, a stripped down Mac OS. Boots pretty quickly. I did install the full version of Mac OS 7.53 this morning. It slows the machine down terrible, I don't know why. So I've gone back to this earlier version, which works just fine. Now the CF is the Amiga CF, even though it's called, it's called Macintosh CF. And what I've done is, if you just say CF and put a CF card in there, it will say uh, the C the Mac uh, the CF O drive is uninitialized. Do you want to format it? So I said yes, because I wanted a Macintosh formatted drive so I could copy files over uh, and, and basically keep uh, keep them on a the card. Then I can swap them to an Apple laptop running Leopard and copy files to and for. So um, that's what I've done. So this is actually a CF card full of stuff. And if I want to put more stuff on it, I take it out of the Amiga, pop it into my Mac MacBook, and um, drag and drop new files or whatever. There are some more games on there I'll do videos of, but this is just a setup for um, Fusion. Oh, 7.55. I thought it was 7.53. It did take me a while to get this running and all set up initially, but that was uh, more my own fault than anything else. Uh, what else can I say? Not a lot really. Uh, it's booting from a hard file. I could set it up to boot from the CF card if I copied the system files over. The CF card is actually faster than the Amiga drive in this particular instance. But I don't care too much. Uh, most software runs off the CF card. Uh, it runs very quickly. It runs much faster than the original Max did. But that is Fusion. It works really well. There are issues with sound. Um, if, if a game tries to directly access the sound, it will crash. Warcraft 2 does this. A few um, Sierra Online games... Uh, uh, bomb out as well, like Leisure Suit, Leisure, uh, yeah, Leisure Suit Larry rather, and a couple of others. But most things seem to work really well, which is uh, remarkable, really. Uh, but like I say, I will copy all the files over to um, www.amigasoftware.co.uk, where you can access them, and just drag and drop basically over to the Amiga, and away you go. Um, what else? To get the files from the website, you'll need a CF card, drop them onto a CF, stick them into the side of the Amiga, and, and drag and drop them over. If you need a tut on how to do that, I'll do one, but most people will know how to do that already. Fusion is um, abandoned now. I think the last update was the year 2000. But it's emulating classic software and the classic Mac disappeared in, I don't know, 2000 was it, when I went to ISX. So the Macs haven't changed, so no reason for the software to change I suppose, other than the Amiga hardware. 
but this is on a Vampire 2, it runs remarkably quickly. It's very good. Uh, what else can I say? Not a lot, really. You've seen the settings. The only dramas I had were with Picasso 96 in the drivers. What it would do is, as I said before, it would say something like driver not available or can't open this mood or can't open the draw, something like that. And what it was, it was basically the Picasso 96 setup wasn't right. And even a fresh installation didn't cure it. Oh, I can't remember what it did. But um, how I got around it was a full install of Classic Workbench, um, the P96 version of it. Downloaded that, uh, set it up on the Amiga obviously, and it works fine. No problem at all. So that's about it really. Uh, any questions, drop them into the YouTube comments or message me, mjnerny at hotmail.com or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's Fusion. Thank you very much.